Congratulations on finishing the fast deep RL course. Let's take a look at what you have learned so far. You have understood the basic concepts of reinforcement learning and you know the meaning of the terms environment, what are the actions, rewards, maximization of cumulative rewards, episodes, etc. You are able to analyze problems and determine if deep reinforcement learning would be a promising approach using the three question framework that we learned. You know the steps that are necessary to solve a problem using deep RL, and you know the standard tools used in these steps, which are OpenAI Gym and Ray RLib. And if a problem comes with a ready-made gym environment like Cardpole or Bipedal Walker, you are able to use Ray RLib to train a deep RL agent in that environment. So that's a lot of progress in a very short time. I encourage you to apply your newfound skills to solve other gym environments like Lunar Lander V2 or Car Racing V0, and there are plenty of other environments to solve in gym. And when you get tired of solving these ready-made gym environments, the next obvious step is to attack real-world problems. Now, we have already seen how deep reinforcement learning has been applied successfully in many commercial settings. The question is, what about your industry? And I think if you look around, you will probably find many problems where deep reinforcement learning can be applied to improve performance. And uh, since there aren't many people in the industry with deep reinforcement learning know-how, that means there are many opportunities for you to innovate. For example, just the other day, I was talking to a friend who is a data scientist in the automotive sector. After just an hour of discussions, we could identify two processes in his company where deep RL could make a difference. Of course, there is no guarantee that deep RL will improve those processes, but you know, if it does, it could very well turn out to be a competitive advantage. Solving real world problems requires more skills than toy problems, as you can imagine. In particular, there are two major challenges. Firstly, there may not be a ready-made gym environment for the real world problem. In this case, you may need to create a custom gym environment from scratch. And secondly, let's say you created a custom environment, you applied an appropriate deep reinforcement learning algorithm with default framework settings, but you find that the agent doesn't seem to learn anything or displays poor learning. Uh, this is what's shown here in the graph. You see that the rewards stay more or less constant and the agent doesn't learn anything. So this is an all too common experience when trying to apply canned algorithms in custom environments. So in the next course in this series, I will show you how to build on your current knowledge and attack real world problems. You will learn how to model real world problems as reinforcement learning problems, how to create custom gym environments, and we will also dive deeper into Ray RLib and learn how to adjust environment and algorithm settings to improve your agent's learning in custom environments. And after doing this course, you will have a step-by-step -step process for using deep reinforcement learning in real-world problems. You can find the course at courses.dibia.online slash p slash real deep RL. And I will also leave a link in the lecture notes. So thanks once again for doing the fast deep RL course with me. I hope you found the experience enjoyable and rewarding. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon in the next course.